Hey, Kevin Thomas back again with Level 10 Real Estate Group, powered by Keller Williams Coastal Area Partners, with some market updates on what's going on in real estate. You know, we're in July 2022, and we have seen a lot of changes in the market, and what we in the industry call this is a shift. We're shifting from what was a heavy seller's market to more of a balanced market. It's not quite a buyer's market, but it's it's really getting right in, in between where there's enough inventory out there for buyers to uh, to start to get some better deals on homes, but sellers are still able to sell their homes in pretty uh, pretty good time. Uh, what we're seeing is like you know a year ago, six months ago, houses would get anywhere from 10 to 12, maybe 20 offers in uh, within the first 24 to 48 hours. And sellers would wait three or four days, collect all the offers, and then choose the best one. Now we're seeing three to four offers, sometimes just one, and sellers are not waiting as long to to take an offer. So the market is balancing where buyers can get into a home, maybe pay list price, maybe pay a little less than list price, possibly even get some closing costs paid by the seller, uh, and, and it's becoming a more comfortable uh, situation for for buyers in this market. And to be honest with you, it's becoming a little easier for sellers too, because when sellers would get so many offers and so much was happening at a rapid time, sellers were getting very overwhelmed. So now it's starting to balance out. So what is causing this? Number one, interest rates are going up. You know, interest rates are up. In, in, in some areas up to 6%, where a year, year and a half ago, they were in the threes. And the Fed is expected to raise rates again, which is gonna affect interest rates by the end of the year. We'll probably see interest rates go up even more. So uh, that's causing some buyers to, to, one, not qualify anymore for homes, or two, some are saying they're gonna wait it out. I don't know what they're waiting on, but they're deciding to wait it out. So inventory is starting to go up where the buyers have more options and they can take their time and they don't feel so rushed to just sling an offer in and offer you know the moon up front. It's becoming a situation where now they can negotiate better and feel more comfortable about their purchase. Now. You, you may say, well, Kevin, you know, interest rates being 6%, I, I, I don't want to participate in a 6% interest rate. I get it. But, you know, when we look back in historical data, 6% is not the highest we've ever seen before. You now, we all got comfortable, even got spoiled by the 2.5s and 2.7s and the 3% of, of, you know, a year or two ago. But, but 6% is an average range, uh, so it's, it's not going to you know, not going to change anytime soon. What could cause interest rates to change? Um, a natural disaster. <laughs> That's what COVID was. We got those low interest rates because of COVID. Uh, so short of another COVID catastrophe or uh, World War III, where the, the whole market is just all in turmoil, we're probably not going to see interest rates uh, that low again. And be quite honest with you, I don't want to see another COVID situation. I don't want COVID a COVID situation to determine how we uh, how we determine how we're going to buy things. So now is still a good time to buy a home. Uh, and, and think about this: home ownership allows people to build equity uh, and build long term wealth. Long term wealth is important. People that bought homes five years ago saw their personal net worth go up to 50, 100, $200,000 just by buying a home, living in it, and making payments every month. What other vehicle, what other option is out there where someone can build that kind of wealth for virtually doing nothing but just doing something they already had to do, live in a house and make a payment? Whether you're buying something or renting something, you were gonna make a payment every month. So would you rather make a payment for someone else and build their long-term wealth or buy a home for yourself and build your long-term wealth. Interest rates are here. They're here to stay. They're never going away. But you can now set yourself up for uh, for long-term wealth and home ownership 
and knowing and having confidence that no one's going to come in and just take your house from you or tell you you have to move because it's yours. So home is still a great option. Uh, now is a great time to, to start talking about uh, buying something and, and build your long-term wealth for yourself. This is Kevin Thomas with Level 10 Real Estate Group, powered by Keller Williams, Coastal Area Partners, service in the Savannah, Georgia area. Give me a call at 912-980-6153 or check us out online at level10realestategroup.com. That's level10realestategroup.com. Let's go out there and build some long-term wealth, my friends.